Meat City, baby. Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with episode 34 of my Aground All Achievements playthrough. And we are in the end game now. We can see just four achievements left, but it's for a pretty massive 210 gamer score. Um, so what we have are just these last couple little things, mostly related to the story. We have to open the enemy ed headquarters by producing a virus, and then we have to defeat the end boss in the headquarters, um, both for the two story-related achievements. However, we have two kind of sidetrack achievements that we can get first, or that we need to get first, in order to clean those up. And so the first one is to produce the Exo Fighter for the pilot, and we have that in a quest here, time to fly, and they want an exo fighter. So we'll do that first. And then the other thing that we need to do is fill the museum. That is a massive undertaking. It's something we've been preparing throughout the playthrough, like at our very first uh, time on the island when we started setting up our resource collection, it was with this achievement in mind. So hopefully there's not a ton of grinding we have to do but there will be some, and it is a lot. So this whole episode might just be finishing up the museum. It may even take two, depending on how long it is. And then hopefully the, the next episode will be the final confrontation with the boss. But we'll see how it goes. We'll adapt um, as, the, uh, as the playthrough demands. So right now we have a ton of weight that we're carrying. When we're gonna be transferring a bunch of resources, that's the main headache here. You're just gonna be shuffling things around to get them into the museum and it's a lot. So we're gonna to wanna to manage how much we're carrying uh, on our character so that we can carry and, and shift around more resources. Okay, so we need to make the Exo Fighter. I think we can make that in the factory. Is that gonna count as a ship? Yes, it is. Okay, so five high-tech parts, four chromium, and an AI core. So we've already got titanium. And are we carrying the titanium or is it in here? Let's see. Okay, the titanium's in there, good. So let's get uh, four chromium and an AI core. And then we need five high-tech parts. And you know what, let's grab two uh, alien hearts on the way. And we can see um, now that we've got uh, the alien beacon or locator or whatever it is, we can tell when there's an alien ship in orbit. So to fight the aliens, we wanna switch out of our automated suit. And I don't really want to fuel this right now. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, we do have the exotic sword. Let's let's try that out. And then we'll go with the energy shield. We'll go with the drill, which doesn't matter. Space helm. Um, I only have the exotic backpack. I think the other one's probably... Okay, how does this... Do I not need to feed this thing? I have a feeling that's not gonna work. Okay, maybe that one runs off the batteries. It looks like it does anyway, because I wasn't able to put exotic matter into it. All right, we do need to feed the sword though, or fuel the sword, I should say. And it takes exotic matter and it looks like two will almost fully fill the sword. Okay, so we'll do that. And then let's just save in case I may fall out of the sky here because my, my backpack isn't charged. It looks like it is, but... Um, and you know what, actually we don't even need to worry about that. Let's just fly to the ship and one you have to. All right, 
and we're familiar with this combat, block the first five shots, four, five, and then we get a free hit, and boom, 28 damage, that exotic sword is pretty awesome. And it looks like, oh, we can take these guys out in two hits, that's so good. Uh, oh, that's cool, and we get an exotic matter back, well that definitely, let's see, how did our sword do with fuel? Yeah, we definitely didn't use up a whole fuel worth. And then we'll set the ship free. Really unfortunate that we have to go through the entire dialogue chain every time, but so be it. All right, you can get out of here, you crazy kid. And then we will go to the home base. And there should be another ship in orbit there. Huh, is that because I have, is that because I have this up in orbit? I don't know. Okay, so actually while we're here, there was one other thing that we could do if we have the right equipment for it. Let's, let's see. We had that uh, mission to activate a monolith for Tyndall. And I wonder if those things won't drop alien sacks if you just blast them, if you just run them over. I'm guessing it looks like they're not gonna drop a sack if we just slam into them. All right, so there's our shield. We need to keep going and we'll find Tyndall up on top of a mountain. And I should have extra bone shards on me to power up the monolith here. And then there was also that one on the other planet. So let's see. It's so tough with this. I mean, even with the owl companion, just the amount of zoom in that we're dealing with. All right, this is where we planted our dragon houses or uh, structures. Well, that's the whirlpool. So this, I don't think this is gonna be right. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, good. And if we dismount, what are we wearing? Backpack has a flight height of 999. So we should be able to get out here. Again, save just to be sure. And then I need to have a bone shard, which I'm hoping is in here. I guess I should have checked that first. Uh, yep, there we go. Okay, good. Take one. Yes. And we can also open the chest now. Oops. And now Tyndall. Uh, looks like he'll sell us stuff. Don't think any of this is stuff that we need necessarily. Defense potions, attack potions. Is there anything we want to get rid of? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, and these also function as teleporters. Okay, interesting. Operate it. Does he have anything else to say? I think that's it. Okay, so that is done. Now let's head back up into the ship and we'll go back to our home base and grab ourselves some AI cores. And I guess we'll grab some other stuff there uh, as well because we're going to start thinking about filling up the museum.
Okay, so since we have enough wood ready to go, we can also swap out, um, let's see, we also need apples. How many apples? We need 500 apples. Let's make sure we've got those. That looks like it's probably gonna be enough. Almost, uh, we need 53 more apples. Let's check. The other island, I don't know if I cleared them. We'll go to sunset. We do have an orchard going. So if I didn't take the apples, there should be enough here to finish that off. Nope, looks like I did get them all. Eastern Island. I don't have a couple of crops going there as well. Just a sugar field. Do we have space? No. Problems. We don't really have space to plant anything. Okay, so we need to keep going with the apples. So let's not replace those just yet. Um, All right, so we'll let that run for a little bit. Let's then uh, head back. We've got now, I think, everything we need for the Exo Fighter. Let's check. All right, there it is, the Exo Fighter, five high-tech parts, 10 titanium, five chromium, one AI core, and yeah, look how big it is. All right, so we board it, we pack it up, and then we head on over to the pilot. There she is, let's heal our stamina. Build an Exo Fighter for the pilot. So our last kind of side path, lighthearted achievement there, ready to go. And now it's just the museum uh, before we head off. And I think she works like a summon now. Yeah, uh, flying damage fall. I mean, she does a ton of damage. Um, I'm curious, do we lose? Let's give that a try. I don't think she'll give us the, the view that the owl does, but let's see what happens if we switch. 
switch out. Oh gosh, look how close it is. No, can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, uh, back to back to the owl. And I guess does she have a weight? Uh, weight is a hundred. Okay, so that's a lot to carry around. So we'll put that on the ship and leave it there. Oh, that's right. These are automatically dumping wheat into. Okay, that's great. Yeah, these hydroponics are just putting wheat into um, the, uh, the supply here. So that will go up on its own. Uh, so we should have that very shortly. Okay, so wheat is just about ready. We need a little bit more wood. We need a little bit more apple. Steak is good. Eggs are good. Rice. Uh, cheese. Let's go get our cheese. Sugar is good. So we need cheese and cotton. And then rice and sushi. All right, let's see if we can, oh, sushi actually is gonna be a little bit of a pain. Um, why don't we go ahead and take care of that now? Let's take a quick look uh, at what we need for sushi. It's rice plus the three fish, I believe. Yes, okay, rice plus the three fish. And the one we're missing is the coral cod. And I don't know if we have any of that anywhere. Let's see. Has our fisherman caught any coral cod? No, doesn't look like it. 
Um, okay, so let's go ahead and take care of this then. We will... And now we can max out fishing. This is something I mentioned before. Uh, it'll also make it easier to finish off getting pearls. We should probably have bargaining maxed um, in case we do any money or trading while we're doing this. We'll max that. Um, and then we'll do weight because we're going to be shifting all that stuff around. So we'll take that. We don't need attack or defense right now. We will take stamina. And with that set up, um, we should be able to go and do some advanced fishing and quickly acquire the, uh, the items that we need. So in order to make sushi, what we need are each of the three types of fish. And we have a bunch of two of the types where there it is. So we need Toothfish, which we have a bunch. We have rockfish, which we have a bunch. We need coral cod. And I don't think we have a supply of those anywhere. We also have enough rice for now. So we need to get some coral cod. So we need to go fishing. But while we're fishing, we can also do two other things. We need to get 10 electric eels and we need to make sure we have 25 pearls for the museum. So let's check out that right now. Um, I know we have an electric eel. Yep, but just the one. So we'll grab him. And then we also wanted pearls. And pearls are, I think they're an animal drop, right? No, they are magic item. Yep, right there. So we have nine pearls. Okay, so uh, definitely need to do some more pearl farming. Um, and we can do that at the same time that we're fishing. So we have our fishing rod. Uh, we have a maxed fishing skill. So the place where we get the pearls is a little bit um, of a hike to get to, but it's not too bad. So let's go and do that first. And the place that we need to go is uh, the underwater maze, which is just past sunset. Uh, usually we would take the sub to get in there. I wonder if the ship might be too big. I don't think it'll fit uh, down through all the little twists and turns inside there. But let's we'll take it in and see. Uh, it'd be easier because we don't have to worry about weight restrictions or Helium sacks are also on the list. So I'm gonna grab a couple of them while we're here. I'm not 100% sure, I might, be, I might be wrong on that, but we'll grab just this last one and then we'll be on our way. Yeah, definitely doesn't fit. Okay, the see, how does the suit go? We've got 100 oxygen, which isn't really great. Um, and then the exotic backpack. Uh, oh wait, did we bring the submersible? I think we brought the submersible, right? Let's check that, that would be even better. Yep, there it is. Great, 
So now we can hop in the submersible. And while we're going here, we'll of course check So we have to be a little bit careful. We are not currently like spec for combat. We put everything into moving uh, stuff around. So our hit points are way low. Um, so that guy was beating us up there. Let's get the laser gun so we can shoot from distance. And I think that can be used underwater, right? Yep. the drop rate for these pearls is pretty low. And then I believe it's here. I think this is the spot where, careful, where we can fish and catch some really good stuff. Um, so now I gotta remember how this works. We're looking for prompts and I think it's either the A or the left. Oh, it was A. So that's a rockfish. We're looking for the coral. And that probably was one that we wanted to catch. So the the rare fish uh, seem to have, yep, they can take multiple prompts like this one. And why was that three? Uh, Finn, not really what we're looking for, okay. And there we go, we can see we got ourselves a pearl, which is what we're looking for down here. So what I'm not seeing is the coral fish that we're looking for. And I think it might make more sense to make the sushi first um, and then eat one because that gives us an extra fish buff, which I think then will make the pearls. Oh, wait, there we go, coral cod. Okay, so we did get one. Um, so maybe we just had a little bit of an unlucky streak there. There we go, two in a row, almost. So I'm gonna move to a different spot. I don't think we were quite in the place I wanted to be.
let's do a couple casts here. I think it has to be the deep one that we were in, but let's check this spot as well. Okay, we are up to 24 pearls and we need one more for a total of 25 for the museum. So typically I try to leave all the gameplay in so I'm not like jumping around taking shortcuts, but I think I did make an exception here. You don't need to see me standing here and fishing for 20 minutes, even at an accelerated speed. Um, I you know, will cut out the big middle portion and we'll jump up to this point where we were one away. Uh, man, it's tough to fish and talk at the same time. So what I try to do when I'm fishing, this is, I think it's a better location. It feels better. I'm guessing the odds are probably the same as the deeper section in the maze I was using earlier, um, but it just feels like I'm getting pearls at a better rate up here at this second location. Um, so what I'm doing is looking not at my character, I'm looking up and to the left of my character because he like jerks when the line goes and I, my finger automatically goes to the A button. But typically when you're trying to capture the rarer stuff, uh, there's a left input on the D-pad. It's one of two inputs. It's always either the A button or left on the D-pad. Um, so don't look at your character, look up and to the left a little bit and where the pop-up can be can change because the messages are different lengths. So you can't just focus on one spot. You kind of have to like defocus your eyes a little bit uh, to look at it but then you can uh, go ahead and get the 25 pearls. Now, what I'm actually gonna do, we caught some coral fish, but definitely not enough. Um, where did the fish go? Oh, okay, they go here, because technically you can eat them. Okay, so we've got six coral fish. We need 25 for all of the sushi. Um, yep, it's 25 sushi and we need one for each. So. I actually did this a, li a little bit of a different order. I forgot you can actually buy coral fish. And I was trying to remember earlier where you do it, where you do it. But it's actually, I, I'm almost certain, we'll go check. I think the Shady Merchant actually sells the coral fish. And we don't have another mining tool on us. Did I bring my automated suit? Can we fish? We can fish with it on. Okay, so now I just basically wanted to dig and grab some of these diamonds so that we have some uh, some gold coins to go and do a little bit of shopping. Let's grab a couple more diamonds just so we have a nice little Chunk of change, they are kind of in abundance in this area.
Okay, well, since the timing isn't cooperating with me, uh, we need it to be nighttime in order for the Shady Merchant to come out. Let's go and do some more fishing at a second location. Um, the, the other thing we need to get are electric eels. And the, I think the best place to do that is here in the submarine pen. So we can pop up and use our fishing rod here. And what I would recommend before you do any fishing, go and make and eat a sushi um, because it gives you that bonus. You'll catch the rare stuff much quicker. See, there we go, electric like eel. Um, one thing I wanted to do first before making any sushi was check the, uh, the Shady Merchant to see how many of those fish he sells. Um, but we're catching these eels pretty quickly and I was thinking we might catch some coral fish here, but let's take a look and see if that's the case. Um, otherwise, it's just a question of going through enough night cycles for him to come back and refresh his inventory. I think he probably sells five at a time. Um, so just a couple of day night cycles and we should be able to get the 25 that we need to make the sushi rolls. Yep, we can get the coral cod here too, great. All right, that is our 10 electric eels. So we're in good shape there and it's just about night time. So let's head back to the Shady Merchant. Yep. And there he is. Yep, five coral cod at a pop. Uh, so let's take all five of those. So we got our pearls, we got our electric eels. We have a source of the coral cod. We'll just stop in at him like two or three more times um, as we do our other runs. And then we'll be all set with the sushi. So that just leaves a little bit of cleanup for uh, the wheat, which I think we were collecting. And then we need a couple more apples. And I think we were really close on wood, or did we get all of the wood that we needed? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point, again, because it's just a lot of inventory management and shuffling resources and grabbing things, I'm gonna go, we're, we're gonna call the episode here. The next episode, we'll finish up the museum and then after that, we'll go and do the uh, the final boss fight, or maybe those two will be combined together. And what I'll do is I'll put everything in the museum and then go through each room and what the items are, how many we needed, and where we got them. And then it'll be kind of a quick fashion, and all you have to see is just the steps through of what all of the items are. And again, if there's anything tricky about them, the tips that I used to get them, such as the fishing for the pearls, right? Where to go um, and how to do that in the most efficient way. If there's any other tricky ones like that, I'll discuss that as well. But that way, it'll be a little more condensed, a little more uh, watchable, I think. And then if that's short enough, we can roll right into approaching the final boss. So that'll wrap things up for this episode. Again, all we need to do now at this point is finish off the museum, put together the alien virus to open up the headquarters, and then attack and destroy the final boss to get our last three achievements in the game. So hopefully that will be all wrapped up maybe in just one more episode. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you then.